Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the General Medicine Educator. In this short video, I will discuss the ECG changes in pulmonary embolism. This is a very very important multiple choice question that is what is the most common ECG change in pulmonary embolism that will be sinus tachycardia that is the most important or most common ECG change. Then what are the other ECG changes in patients with the pulmonary embolism? In patients with the pulmonary embolism, there is right ventricular hypertrophy. So you will have the presence of dominant R wave with asymmetrical T wave inversion in V1 and as well as V2. And right axis deviation is another important ECG finding in pulmonary embolism. And in almost 12% of individuals, there is a classical pattern called as S1 Q3 T3 pattern. What is this S1 Q3 T3 pattern is the presence of deep S wave in lead 1, presence of deep Q wave in lead 3 and T wave inversion in lead 3. This is what is called S1 Q3 T3 pattern. So to summarize the most common ECG finding is sinus tachycardia. The other ECG changes are right ventricular hypertrophy and right heart strain pattern, right axis deviation and in 12% of individuals S1Q3T3 pattern will be there. Thank you very much.